Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will present you Waypaper. Waypaper is a great wallpaper setup for Hyperland. And the nice thing is that you can use multiple wallpaper backends like Hyperpaper or if you like wallpaper effects you can also use SWWW. Waypaper comes with a very easy to use front end that you can easily integrate into your Hyperland configuration. I will show you how you can install Waypaper and configure Wallpaper to your personal needs. And with that, let's jump in. I'm here on my Hyperlink desktop with my Linux for files, and I want to show you how you can use Waypaper on your Hyperlink system. First of all, let's open the website. And to use the full screen, I will hide Waybar for now. And we can search on Google on Waypaper. And here's Waypaper, the GitHub repository. And you find here a good overview about the Waypaper features. Yeah, it's supporting several backends, Sway, BG, SWWW, Volutils, Hyperpaper, and Fee. And what I want to show you and demonstrate is today Hyperpaper and SWWW. It also comes with a nice documentation where you find the most important information, how to install it, how to use it, the key bindings and the configuration. Let's close this for now and let's install Waypaper. Open a terminal, put this into the floating mode that we also can see the background. Let's install it with yay, or you can of course also use um, Paru and enter way paper. Yay hyphen s way paper. And the installation is done in a second. And now way paper is installed on your distribution, on your Arch based system. Let's clear the terminal for now. And to test if way paper has been installed successfully, just enter way paper hyphen h. And then you get all the parameters that you need to work with Waypaper. Let's enter Waypaper. And here is the front end. And I have already added a wallpaper folder, but you can, of course, change it to a folder that you like. For example, let's take pictures. Here are also some images in. And you see here some more pictures, but I'm using the folder wallpaper in my home directory and you have here again all the wallpapers that are in that folder and the usage is very easy you just can click and the wallpaper in the background changes and you see that the current wallpaper engine is hyperpaper and i have installed hyperpaper on my hyperland desktop and that's why i can change the wallpapers now with that engine hyperpaper Let's search for another one. Yeah, I have a huge repository, this one, for example. And you see here now, it's another wallpaper selected. You can also change to another display. I only have one display connected, but you can also set different wallpapers for your connected monitors. This is just the sorting order for the images. You can also select randomly a wallpaper by clicking on random. And you can refresh the list. Here are some few options. Show gifs only, show subfolders, show hidden files. And this is just the exit. Okay, let's change another wallpaper again. For example, this one and exit Waypaper. You see here in the background that several scripts are executed. This is a post script that I'm running after selecting a wallpaper on my, my Linux for work dot files. But this is not required for this for this video. OK, let's clear the terminal again and see what we can do with the command line. Waypaper hyphen H. You see here all commands. Let's see which version is installed with hyphen v it's waypaper 2.3 and this is the recommended version so if you install um waypaper or have an older version uh, currently installed please upgrade to 2.3 let's select 
is with restore, when you add the way bar restore to your auto start configuration, for example, in Hyperland with exec once, with that command, it will restore after logging in the last selected wallpaper. Let's check random. Let's cd into my wallpaper folder. And here are all my available wallpapers. And with waypaper random, waypaper will select randomly a wallpaper. Let's do this again. Yeah, and here we are. Let's open waypaper h again to get the help. You have the parameter fill to select fill, stretch, fit, center, tile for your wallpaper. And you can also load from a command line a specific wallpaper. Let's look again into the folder and let's load a wallpaper. I will load the expense.jpg waypaper wallpaper expense jpeg you can also select here another folder for your wallpapers then um, a backend and this is what we want to try out now let's select another backend i you have seen i'm using hyperpaper let's check this again here's hyperpaper but I now want to switch to SWWW because this brings uh, some nice wallpaper effects. So let's install WWW with yay hyphen S SWWW. It's also installed in a few seconds. And now you can select SWWW as a wallpaper backend. And now see what happens when I change the wallpaper. Yeah, now we have here a nice transition effect when I switch to another wallpaper. I can also select different wallpapers for my monitors. So also nice and random effect is also working. So a very nice feature that you can switch easily between the wallpaper engines. Let's exit for now. Let's cd into the .config folder. And you see that Waypaper will generate a config file, a config.ini. And this file, you can also change some parameters. Let's open it with new rim. And you see here the language of the front end, the folder, the default selected folder, the current wallpaper is here. You can also change it. Back end is SWWW, which is switched from hyper paper to SWWW. Monitors all this can be changed. Fill name, sort name, subfolders, and so on. And you see here some additional transition effects for SWWW. So that means we can also change here the transition type. Let's give it a try. Let's open a browser and search for SWWW GitHub. Here is it. And let's see which wallpaper effects are available. I think it's listed here on the home page. This is the wipe transition, center transition, simple. Okay, let's try to change to wipe. Insert mode, wipe, save it. And now let's open Waypaper again. And switch to another wallpaper. You see now that swipe effect from right side to the left side again. Yeah, working nice. Let's try another effect. Let's try center. With center, we should have a transition that starts on the center of a monitor. Let's open wallpaper again and change the wallpaper. 
let's move the windows a bit to the side and let's take this one yeah now it's in the center it's working very smooth very nice so you see what's possible with way paper as said very well documented in the internet you can find all links in the description below thank you and this is way paper Waypaper is a super flexible tool and a great extension to your Hyperland configuration. And with that, see you next time. And by the way, I have used the new mylinux4work.files in the version 2.9.6.4, now available to download.